All right, here we have uh, sample A has 1,868 individuals with the sample proportion of um, success proportion of 0.62, and the second sample, 1,871 individuals with the success sample proportion of 0.43. Find a 99.5% confidence interval. In this problem, I'm just going to find the margin of error. So the margin of error. And then in the second video, I'll find the full confidence interval. And the margin of error is the, the critical value times the standard error. Let's look at this critical value for a 99.5% confidence level. So it is going to be a standard normal value. So 0, 1, these are Z values. And we're looking at 99.5% is in the middle, so 99.5% in the middle, which means there is 0.25% in each tail. How do I get that? 100 minus 99.5 divided by 2 is equal to 0.25. So the total left-hand proportion is 99.75. So I type in the calculator inverse norm. 0.9975 and we get our test statistic of 2.8070 2.8070 excuse me not test statistic our uh, critical value now let's find the standard error the standard error is equal to the first sample proportion 1 minus the first sample proportion divided by that sample size plus the second sample proportion 1 minus the second sample proportion divided by that sample size. Substituting the values in for this situation we have the square root 0 0.62 1 minus 0 0.62 divided by 1869 plus uh, 0 0.43 1 minus 0 0.43 divided by the second sample size, 1871. This gives a um, standard error of 0 0.0160. Uh, so we are after the margin of error, which is the product of the two. So the margin of error is equal to the uh, critical value times the standard error. For this situation, the critical value is point uh, excuse me, 2.8070 times 0 0.0160, which is equal to 0 0.0449.